It's a lovely day today, isn't it? I've got my scruffs on. This is my Nigella, so this is my next one for potting on. I'll show that in a minute, but before then, I just wanted to chat to you about your late winter sowing seeds. If you want a list of what you can re-sow or start sowing late winter, I've made a change on the website this year. It normally has spring grow along and autumn jump starter. This year, if you head to the website, I've just called it January Seed Shop. And anything in the January Seed Shop, you are fine to sow or sow again. And to differentiate between the hardy plants and the half hardy plants, you'll see that I've put little blue or pink stickers on them. Let's start with the blue stickers and Agrostemma, for example. Now Agrostemma, we've done an autumn jump starter and I've potted the plants on into 15 cell trays already. They will go out in the garden and the plants will flower about a month earlier than anything that we late winter sow. However, the late winter sown plants do so well that they're just a tiny bit shorter, but the actual size of the plants about the same. So it's actually worth doing two sowing. So even if your autumn jump starter plants are fine, if you've got room, then it is worth doing a second sowing because then you can cut down, when the, when the autumn jump starter ones start to look a bit untidy, you can cut them down, put the rest in the vase, knowing that you've got another patch which is just coming into its prime in your garden. And then that can be a spot for a, a tender plant coming up. The trouble you have is with the super hardy plants, the plants that are designed to cope with minus 15, minus 20 degrees. They will germinate in your greenhouse from a late winter sowing. However, they're not built for the hot weather and we get warm springs and often heat waves, which will knock them out early. So if they haven't had a chance to grow properly, they are gonna flower not only short, but small. So they're just gonna be taking up room in your zippy, in your small greenhouse and room in your garden, not looking particularly good when really what you should have done is just sow something that's designed to be sown in late winter. For example, the stocks. We can even do two sowings of the stocks to fill up any gaps and they're in and out so quickly, you'll then have room to plant something else. Make it easy so you know which handbook to look at. I've also put a blue or a pink sticker on the handbook so you know which one to open. The stocks, I've actually put that in both handbooks, so it doesn't matter if you've got the autumn jump starter or the spring grow along. The stocks are in both, but for the stocks and the agrostemma in the spring grow along handbook, I've expanded the section slightly to take into consideration the late winter sowing. So that gives you a little bit more information that would not have been relevant in the autumn. I created the handbook the way it is because you can take just the page of the plants that you're sowing down to the greenhouse or the allotment and I just thought you would love that. It's all the information that you need just on one piece of paper and you can put it in the compost afterwards. If it gets all wet, it doesn't matter. However, if you do go down to the allotment or your flower field or down to the bottom of the garden and you've forgotten your handbook, damn! You can just access your account on your phone and open your handbook and read it just straight off the screen. You don't need to print it at all. And is coming back to us, which is really exciting. And we will be kicking off the grow along shortly. We're just finishing off the autumn jump starter. You autumn jump starters haven't got twitchy fingers because your greenhouse is already full up. So we've got plenty of jobs to be getting on with. If you didn't join in with the autumn jump starter last year, if you've just found me, then please sign up on my website and I will make sure that you get an email so you don't miss out next year. But we're almost ready to start again anyway, so you're in the right place. We are not going to go mad and sow everything at once. We are going to pace ourselves, taking into account the plant's conditions, and some of them all need warmth for germination. So we do not want to be cluttering up your kitchen with a million seed trays. We will be doing them one at a time, moving them out so that we have then flowers to go into the garden at intervals and blooms all the way to the frosts.